Yeah, I'm uh, Daryl Olson from yakangler.com and uh, we're going to show you a little bit of a product that uh, we showed at uh, ICAST 2017 here um, just not too long ago. And uh, <coughs> the, the product is, and I'll be testing this for a little bit on, uh, on the water and that. It's uh, called the Deeper Fish Finder, it's a wireless sonar device to uh, primarily design to fish off of uh, the shoreline and, and to check for structure, things like that. It's got a fish indicator on there. It, uh, what's so great and cool about it that it matches up to your smartphone. There's a app, it's called Deeper. It's got some great things on there like um, calendar, a camera to take pictures, uh, weather forecast, it's got maps so you can actually go out and map your uh, water depthness in the area that you're fishing for, for that. Um, so you're using this as your screen or an iPad or something like that. And, uh, and this is your, your fish finder and it's just a little ball that uh, <coughs> It ranges anywhere, I think, from two, 200 bucks to uh, maybe 250 275 um, There's uh, that's what it looks like. There's uh, three holes. There's a mount for, we're going to show you a transducer flexible mount that it has, um, a hole for casting from a bridge, and then a hole for casting from the shore. Um, it appears there's a waterproof uh, mark across here, but uh, this is all it is. It's not no big box you got to attach anywhere on your kayak or, or anything like that. So we'll uh, we'll look at that. <coughs> Along with it, I had mentioned that since it's designed for shoreline fishing and it can be adapted to ice fishing, um, you will need for your kayak a uh, flexible arm mount. It comes. With with the flexible arm, it's got a safety lanyard, so in case it disconnects from your boat, you've got to connect it somehow. Uh, but it uses a clam clamp, crab clamp, to uh, to attach to your kayak. Um, I might have to uh, looking at the kayak I'm using, looking at right here, the Jackson Mayfly. I might have to install a one-inch uh, ram onto the gear track and clamp this to that. Uh, see how that works. Um, so we'll we'll be checking that out in a few uh, few demos on the water with it and stuff like that. So I plan to use this both on a sit on top kayak and a sit inside kayak just so that we can see how the, the arm clamps to the various things. If you're into night fishing they have a night fishing cover that uh, goes on top replaces probably the, the top part of this. I'll we'll check that out later, uh, just prior to when we go out and do some night fishing, and I'll uh, give a report back on what this does. I'm sure you know I'm going to have to charge this. I don't know how we do that, but we'll figure that out on there. <clears throat> and then if you're fishing from the shore, they've got a uh, an attachment that you can put on your fishing rod to uh, secure your cell phone to so you can actually, or your, your cell phone to your fishing rod so you can be uh, monitoring your, your fishing from that rod in there. So uh, that's it. Simplified. We'll, uh, we'll see what we get come up with on how to mount this stuff and get on the water with it and see how it works. Till then, uh, we'll see you on the water. Bye. All right. I've charged up the uh... The deeper, my uh, floating uh, fish finder that hooks up to my phone, and uh, so we're going to attach it. We're using um, the flexible rod. It comes with a clamp, but the clamp doesn't seem to really fit anywhere for me with the kayak. I guess I should mount it. 
like right here, whatever. But I got the gear tracks, and I think I will uh, try to use that. It does come with uh, with a little T-bolt on there. So what we'll do is we'll attach uh, the deeper, and there's a, a threaded insert right here and that, and we will thread that onto On there. I should mention that uh, these two parts come apart. This orange band you see is a seal. And you open it up and the, the USB port in there to charge it up is there. And you only have to charge it once every four or six months. It's recommended. And then when you put it back together you make sure that the waterproof two markings are lined up. And then it, it'll ensure that it's waterproof. Since it comes with that T-junction, I'm going to kind of thread that in here and position that and tighten that down. And what we want to do is in case that does come off, we want to uh, attach a lanyard or something to it. So I'm going to attach the lander that it comes with. It on snaps right here. So then on my uh, little yak attack uh, retractor thing I'm gonna attach attach this to that just to give it a secure point. Loop that around. Click that in. And then we can now position position our death finder so it'll be kind of like in the water when tomorrow when I go out fishing it'll uh, be in this position or somewhere to the water and I'll try to get some some photos or some video of that and what the, the fish finder looks like. Uh, I'll probably run my Raymarine Dragonfly to compare this with the Raymarine on, on image and stuff like that. And uh, we'll see how this works tomorrow while we're out looking for some redfish, some trout maybe. Uh, actually, I'm out trying to target the ladyfish. Yeah, right, ladyfish. So, so that's, that's that. Um, hopefully, uh, 